Let's paint this boat in gouache. I want to uh, have a go at painting this boat and, and using some techniques of spattering and scraping and um, splashing on of paint and water to create some nice textures, especially in the foreground. But uh, starting off here with the sky, just with some cerulean blue and some white, and while it's still wet, just adding some more white in there so it, it fluffs out like uh, little clouds in the background. Working back from the sky into towards the foreground, um, which is the usual sort of watercolour way of doing things. Let's do that with this gouache. So just putting in the mountains in the back. And um, that's a little bit dark, so just lift some of that out with a, a thirsty brush there. Create a bit of atmosphere on the hills right in the background. And then we'll put in some more slightly bluer hills, slightly darker. And finally come forward to uh, the ones which are, uh, are nearest to us, which are darker still. And it's important that these, these hills are dark because we've got a, a white um, top to the boat there and we want that to, to really sort of show up against the, the darkness of the water and the darkness of the, the hills in the background. So just adding a little bit of green as we come forward here and using this gouache in a fairly sort of watercolour way. It's, it's fairly, fairly sort of um, thin, but it still has that opacity to it. You don't get the translucence that you do with with watercolour. The watercolour would shine a bit more if we were doing it with watercolour. But what we do get is the opportunity to go light over dark and to correct mistakes and to just be a lot more free in the way that we paint. So we're not bound to keeping any rules particularly as we are with watercolour. We're able to paint pretty freely, pretty much from the heart, just using the, the photograph as a, a reference point and painting as we want to go really because we can change anything. The main thing with gouache paint like this is to is to come in fairly thin with the first layers and then you could put anything you like over the top. Um, if you come in too thick in the beginning then it's very difficult to to do that but if you've got nice thin layers you can always layer other colours and lighter colours on the top. Coming in with sort of an oil painting technique here rather than the watercolour one, putting in the darks first. And then we're going to come in with the lights over the top of those. That's got that lovely shadow there which turns into this sort of um, burnt umbery colour underneath there. And I want to come in with some textural techniques uh, in a moment. We're going to be using a, um, a credit card just to scrape away some of the um, the wet paint that's still there so it's just the edge of a broken down credit card and just scratching away which gives a sort of nice texture this boat is a very old boat just rusting away um, and and so we wanted to try and create some of that feel and that that credit card scratching helps us to do that it puts some texture into the gouache feeding wet paint into wet paint again to create some textures and again scraping down to to reveal some of the the, the brokenness and, the, and the, the tattiness of this of this boat and we'll do the same up here in a moment as well just get some paint down on the on the cabin and then we'll come in and scrape away a bit of that as well just to again create that that feeling of of texture The top of the boat there just reflects a little bit of the sky, so it's got a little touch of blue in it. And just paint these windows in roughly, just at the moment, just really covering the paper. Uh, we'll come in and tidy it up uh, at a later stage, but at the moment I just want to get, uh, get paint over the whole of the, the paper. And then we can see where we are. That area was a bit too dark, so I'm coming in with some white and just mixing it with the underlayer. The underlayer hasn't quite, quite dried yet, that blue. And just mixing with the, uh, with the white there just to lighten it up and to create a bit more uh, shade and, and, and light on that side of the boat. 
and the shadow which just fixes the boat down really into the ground just settles it down doesn't make it look so cut out and stuck on makes it look as if it's a part of the landscape and I think this boat is slowly becoming a part of the landscape really I'm using an old toothbrush here just to spatter on um, areas in the water there where the stone showing through just to create a lot of texture down there and painted in the green in the front which again just want to blend in with this in with the water there just keep it nice and wet so I'm going to spray that with a sprayer a little spritzer and just to help that to to flow together really those two areas and put in a little bit of dark into the very wet paint there now which just helps to to flood out and uh, create some texture without drawing the eye too much to it whereas the lines in the back which i just put on are on the dry there and so they're a bit sharper again they draw the eye up towards the boat you see there that the uh, the paper's pretty wet there and so everything's kind of merging in together and just creating that that lovely texture that we want in the water so we're on to the final details really just putting in little bits and pieces of detail I'm going to come in with a, a rigger brush in a minute um, just put in some lines and bits and pieces because I want to come in with just thin lines really for all these posts and, uh, and rails and things and again because this is gouache we can come in with light over dark so just putting in some white lines as well over the uh, the background there haven't had to reserve these in the first place just come in and and put those in so i can work in a very free way and that's that's what i enjoy about this if you're going outdoors to paint it's great because you don't have to think too much you can just come out and and, and pop paint in as and as and when you can put light over dark dark over light thin lines over areas um, you've, got a, you've got a great freedom because it dries so quickly you can do this in a sketchbook and just put it in your pocket at the end and come home with it no waiting for oil paints to dry um, no waiting for watercolors to to behave in a certain way uh, you can create something pretty quickly pretty easily with these paints just darkening that little area in there and we're pretty much done we're going to need to just uh, take off the uh, the tape around the edge of it and let's see what we've got yeah I think that works quite pleased with that so if you've enjoyed this have a go yourselves if you um, like what you've seen in this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and if you want to find out more come along to my website where I've got classes that will teach you how to paint.